la 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 Welcome back YouTube to our television. It has been a little bit since I've made a video actually. So I just was doing a little bit of warm ups, you know, getting ready to pump it out. So, it is another Hyper Focus Friday and I'm super stoked to show with you all, show with you all, share with you all my Hyper Focus Friday for this week. This week's Hyper Focus Friday is none other than Leah Remini and her new docu-series and anything just to do with her. Uh, the docu-series is Scientology, the church, no, Leah Remini, Scientology and the Aftermath and it is really fascinating really interesting and I highly recommend you watch it but before I keep talking about my hyper focus Friday I feel like I need to probe with the get ram and get with the program and maybe put some makeup on to go seize the day because I gotta run some exciting errands today I'm off the day after Thanksgiving Black Friday oh maybe I don't want to go shopping on Black Friday I just realized that right now in real time. I was gonna take um, some sacules of garbage clothes that I don't wanna wear anymore. They're actually decent clothes, I just don't ever wear them, and shoes, um, and take them to like a resale store. And I was gonna do that, and now all of a sudden I just dawned on me that it's Black Friday and I don't know if I want to. But you know what? I'm gonna go for it, and let's just see what it's like at these two stores, because what if I said no to this opportunity? I mean, I could have done it another day, but we're going to do it today so I can share with you more interesting things than me sitting inside my car because I should have just named my channel Car Chronicles with Ardell because let's face it, I'm always in my car, but I love my car and I just recently bought my car because it was a lease to own. Not a lease to own, but a lease and then when you're done with the lease, you can own it. Uh, I am blabbing and I'm getting off topic, but yeah, let's do some makeup and then I'm going to share with you all of my obsessions of Leah Remini and why I love her so. I think it's interesting. I think you'll like it. Stay tuned. Ah, I feel better already. So I put my hair up because it's a little greasy and um, it's like kind of like E, you know, it's like that oily. So anybody else feel me out there? If you, if anybody out there feel me, put your hands up for the greasy hair. No? Okay. So we are going to get a move on. I'm done doing my makeup and now I feel a little more ready to go present myself to society. I feel like I might be a little less impervious to people's opinions of me because I have makeup on. I started watching Leah Remini's docu-series about two years. Not the docu-series, but I started watching her Going Clear documentary on HBO. It was one of those, like, that's the only reason why I even downloaded the app moments, where it's like I downloaded it, watched the documentary, and canceled my subscription. Sorry for people that like Game of Thrones. I will binge watch that shortly. I have to have a surgery soon, and that's, like, what I plan on doing. Because I love Emily, Cl Amelia Clark. She could be, like, another Hyper Focus Friday, and I've never even seen Game of Thrones. What is that all about? So anyways, Leah Remini watched Going Clear. Loved it. And so when I found out she was having the aftermath, uh, Leah Remini Scientology in the aftermath, like I was instantly ready to go. But the only problem is, is it was on A&E and I didn't know that it was also on Hulu. Who knew? So not too long ago after discovering that that glorious show is on Hulu, I binge watched. This guy just like kind of yelled at me. I don't know what he wanted. What? I guess this is a little like... <laughs> me like peeling back a piece of that onion for you guys but I used to go to a church that was really weird and I can never ever 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 <laughs> say that I know anything close to what it's like to be a Scientologist but it was a little on the borderline of like cult-like behavior cult-like tendencies and it's actually interesting watching that documentary because Scientology is a very structured system of laws created by a man in the 50s, um, L. Ron Hubbard. Uh, I said that weird, L. Ron Hubbard. And that's me trying to quote Mike Rinda, which is Leah Remini's like little partner in the whole video. He used to be one of the high up Scientology members and now he's like on a mission to expose them to just let people tell their stories. I think that's my biggest like weirdness with that church is it's a very structured church. If you leave, you can't and talk out against it to even share your short story or your experiences because there are abuses in that church. Like you'll be um, written off, you'll be con considered uh, an oppressive person and people are by law or by the church's rules, um, church, uh, they're, you're not allowed to talk to that person if you've been kicked out of their church. So 
And I guess I understand that people that are in that church want to defend their beliefs because I was in a church that was really weird and I didn't know I didn't see it for what it was and when people would leave I didn't understand and I would judge them and I wouldn't be close to people that weren't in that church my life revolved around this one church watching that documentary and watching Leah Remini and watching her bold and brazenness to kind of right the wrong that she knows she did to other people but also what was done to her because a lot of these people victimize other people not knowing that in reality they were the victim they were being used as pawns to basically orchestrate this church's rules and to keep people in line, suppress people, and take away people's freedoms without them knowing. People were happily handing over their freedoms. It's a pay to move up church, and I hate pay to win games on my phone. I never play them. So it's like, how much does this cost? Like, I, I would never be able to be a Scientologist. Just. Because I'm broke -co. I'm from the broke -co period, and I'm broke. And I don't even know if I'd be like, oh, you need to get my credit card? No thanks. Like, I'll just pay for some therapy, which they don't believe in, and they don't believe in psychiatry or therapy or anything of that nature. If the church makes you pay to move up a ladder, to move up the bridge, as they call it, to going clear, I have a hard time with wanting to participate in anything like that. But then again, there's like donations at churches and things of that nature. And if you didn't donate a lot, at my previous church it was like you kind of, kind of weren't one of the cool kids there's definitely was elitism it was very clicky it wasn't a really full loving church like they couldn't handle people that weren't the cookie cutter perfect person like if you had real issues which a church is supposed to embrace and take in and help and assist to help you move up in life and to be bettered if you were one of those people that actually really needed help like you definitely weren't on their priority list uh, you were like low totem pole and I just was really, I don't know, I have a weird obsession with cults and looking into it maybe because of what I went, went through. I was actually so obsessed with the FLDS, uh, Fundamentalists of the Latter-day Saints, which live in Colorado City, Utah. I was so obsessed with that and I watched every single, that's like a, that could have been an old school hyper-focused Friday. I mean, I literally dressed up like one for fun. Um, just because they have like those really like intricate weird braids and it's like kind of saggy but twice like my best friend and I were both obsessed with it shout out to Nathan that he had driven through there because he was on a road trip and he's like I saw them and I was like I'm jealous I want to go see them too like their creepy eerie town though like the high fences and everything like that and so I had gone to the Grand Canyon and Las, Las Vegas and the Hoover Dam. After I was like starting to able to walk again, my mom and I took a road trip and we went through Colorado City on the way back. I was so excited to say I saw a real FLDS member. There's so much about that show for me to try to sit here and explain what it's about. It would almost be a lost cause because it's so complex. Every episode it was like, oh wow, they're finally touching on that. They're finally touching on the history of Mike, not Mike Rent, Mike Render of Leah Remini's story of uh, Dave Miscavige, the 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 now leader of it. They had a whole episode dedicated to him, the father, Ron Mc, Mc, Miscavige, and coming up next season, like the wife is apparently missing. Like I can't wait to see what's going to happen there. They touch on like the theatrics of it, the production side, like like what they tell their their members of their church and why people keep being convinced to stay. You know, because they're clearing the planet and they're making the world a better place. They're making humankind a better place. Like humankind. Humanity is on the line, people are convinced. And I think a lot of religions do that. I think a lot of things in life are a delicate balance and I think you always need to check yourself before you forget yourself. Like, what does your true person say about this? What is your true beliefs and who are you at the core? And Leah was a bold, brazen, brass, bold, I'm just kidding, individual. And she just started questioning things and it still took her six years after her original questioning to get out of it, she was lucky and her family left with her, but not everybody has that same case. And that was something I kind of related to at my church. It was it was not everybody in the family matters kind of church in my mind, based on my personal experiences. Some other people might disagree, some people that still go there, if they ever saw this video, I don't know if they would, they would totally probably disagree and have their sides. And I respect that and I get it. But I'm definitely happy to no longer be a part of that church and I still feel like I'm dealing with the repercussions and the aftermath of having gone there long enough. Um, I went there for 13 years from when I was a 13 year old, which is when Leah started going to the Church of Scientology, to pretty much 25 or so, 25, 26. Um, 
so maybe a little bit less, but it was long enough. It was in the prime of my life. It was in like my formative years where I was very impressionable and I thought that that was what I was gonna do my whole life was go to that church. I mean, I went on mission trips and I made a fool of myself on the streets of Germany. Let's just say that, like doing dramas. Like I, I will cherish those memories forever. They're hilarious, but I really hope that none of those videos ever pop up on the internet later on. I don't know if you all can relate to anything that Leah Remedy went through or if you can relate to any sort of brainwashing or being kind of involved in like a culty clicky group whether it be yoga or a gym or a church or, or I don't know a job but if you can share your stories down below um, I touched lightly on mine but it was pretty it was pretty interesting and it definitely was something I feel like I could relate to with Leah Remini. So I'm here at the store that I'm at to see if I can exchange some of my crappy clothes and it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know what they're really going to think, but let's see what they say. They didn't take everything of her stuff and I don't know if they're going to take everything of mine, which is these bags right here. So let's see about making a fool of myself. I've done this before and one time they took nothing. So it's like, no, we don't want your garbage. Ardell, take it back. I think I can hear the rain outside. Wow, look at all this clothes. I want it all. No big deal. Depressing Midwest, rainy weather. Depressing, depressing, de de depressing. It's cool though. I can deal. No, I just, oh God. Um, there's a lot of people in there and I found one pair of combat boots that I might buy, but I need to have surgery soon, so I probably won't. So I'm just gonna save my money. They are gonna be going through my stuff. It's gonna take 25 minutes. I'm just gonna wait in my car. You know, I don't know if you really wanna hear the end of this exciting story. I'll let you know last minute what they end up buying and then I might have to go to that other place, although they might be closed. Closed. So basically, thank you for watching my exciting Hyper Focus Friday, where I talk about whatever I'm hyper focused on. But I have some more exciting videos coming up about my journey but seriously like I want to just inspire people to find the positivity and the happy side of life I'm not always happy but I actually genuinely am trying to be more positive instead of just always looking at what I don't have and, and focusing on what I do because when you really try to have a thankful attitude like plug for Thanksgiving being yesterday um, it's amazing how much life doesn't seem so bleak and so depressing because life is uh, built up on daily choices. It's the mundane days that make up the big like pinnacle moments in life. So if you like what you see, you know what to do. The old this, that, these, and those. Click the bell, subscribe, share with your friends, like the video, give it one big thumbs up, comment. Let's start a dialogue in this little community of ours in my little section of the world on the interweb, on the internet. So thank you so much again for watching you guys. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I'm not even surprised, but they didn't take anything. And in front of everyone, it was like, um, ma'am, we can't take this. Uh, you had some good stuff, but it just had a little bit of wear on it. Fair enough. And I was like, okay. And I just wasted my time. But at least on the bright side of things, I now know that I can, without guilt, drop all this off at Goodwill and maybe wander around and do a little bit of Goodwill hunting myself.